everybody, this is a this is a brand task. This is a brand task. I was not Angel. talking to you, Kim. Angel. I was not talking to you. I come. Let's talk about all throughout the week. Let's talk about today, Chris. Angel, Angel, please. This is a, this is a brand task. This is a brand task. Please. There was a serious mass buzz, heavy altercation that happened between Kim Oprah and Angel. Adekunle slash Venita versus Alice Omode fight no be here. It was a very serious fight that happened between these people. Guys, Angel almost beat up Kim Oprah during this mass buzz. If not that, Ilebaye intervened. And all this fight happened because of the fact that God of Ilebaye vindicated her during a certain round they played during their Pepsi tax. Or more, no be smart, you know. Detail of all of this, I am actually going to be telling you in this particular video. All you need to do, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed, because in this channel, we tell you detail of things as you take the unfold inside that big brother Niger house. And do not forget to click on the notification bell button because I upload multiple videos daily telling you as you take the go. But this particular video, please, so don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that is how you help my ministry reach the permanent side. So, guys. Guys, no be smart, you know. A serious back and forth happened in the house, so, and the couple of the house we are involved, Adekunle and Venita, they were involved fighting Alex because Alex actually decided to be unfortunate this afternoon. And guys, no be smart, you know, like it was because of the Pepsi task that really caused this bus boost. Guys, what actually caused this bus boost? It's also shocking. Imagine that they are doing Pepsi tax this afternoon and the first stage of the Pepsi tax is that they are going to dance around a chair and they, immediately the music stopped. The person that first sit is still in the game and the person that couldn't sit is out of the game. So, Cross, Ilebaye, Prince and Kim Opera, they were competing for the challenge. And guys, while they were playing the game, the moment the music stopped, guys, the way Cross just shift the chair because Ilebaye almost sat on the chair. The way Cross actually shifted the chair, guys, Ilebaye almost fall and injure herself and their two fell. And the housemate that witnessed the thing actually said that Cross was the one that shifted the chair. And some of the people that are in Cross team, we are shouting, Cross did not touch the chair. Cross did not touch the chair. This one and that one, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I was just uh, like shocked and surprised because we are watching this thing and we saw Cross shift the chair before she and Ilebaye fell. And the Doyin, who is the head of house, who is in charge of detecting what happened and what not happened in the game, said that she saw cross shift the chair it caused a whole lot of reaction in the house as some housemates were saying cross did not shift the chair and cross couldn't even open his mouth to say the truth that he shifted the chair that was why they fell and knowing he insisted that cross shifted the chair and as such he is out of the game guys it caused a whole lot of altercation as some people were saying doing his partial this one and that one and they started the second round of the game while the music we are still playing Prince and Kim now sat down on the chair again and Elevaye did not see it. Meanwhile, the game, I mean, the music has not yet stopped. <laughs> So that was how Prince and Kim Oprah sat on the chair when the music have not even stopped. And guys, Ilebaye did not in any way touch the chair. And the, when the music now stopped, Kim Oprah and the Ilebaye, they were the first persons to sit, which automatically qualified them for the final round. And Big Brother called Doin into the diary room and told Doin how everything happened as he gave her the power to cancel the round and make them replay it or even go ahead and announce the winner straight. Doin did not have the strength to start repeating the round again as she just told them that Ilebaye is the ultimate winner since Kim and the Prince were the one that touch the chip while the music was playing even though big brother said give a last chance but i don't think we're giving a last chance hey. so while the music was playing prince you sat on the chair when you thought the music went off uh. you're my team i'll never go against my team but this is me being honest uh. you sat on the chair kim you also sat on the chair 
automatically let by wins this round. So that was how all the housemates, okay, some of the housemates started agitating that Ilebaye touched the chair. Kim was saying, but Ilebaye touched the chair. The look on Ilebaye's face was so, so shocking. Like she was surprised. Why would they be saying that she touched the chair? Meanwhile, she did not touch the chair. And most some of the housemates were agitating that Ilebaye touched the chair. All Ilebaye did was just to keep quiet and went to Venita to ask Venita, did I touch the chair? And Venita said, no, you did not touch the chair. Before you know it, Alice now started started facing Adekunle for something that did not concern him. In fact, Adekunle did not even say anything. Alex just started insulting Adekunle unprovoked. But guys, if you are to be very, very honest, Adekunle did not just say anything. How um, Alex decided to face Adekunle and started calling him a liar. Oh, um, we are just shocked and surprised. But guys, you all know that Venita will never watch anybody insult Adekunle without Adekunle doing the person anything. And she will keep quiet. That was how she jumped into the fight and was seriously fighting for her love interest in the house. I'll be her lover in the house. Sorry. Before you know it, we started hearing, come and lick my ass with that tongue, this one and that one, blah, blah, blah. Guys, as she was just saying it, Ale just told her, tell Adekunle to lick your ass. That if Adekunle cannot lick it, just find another person, find another guy. I can, oh God, I was just like, wait till be this one again. Um, that was how they were dragging each other and fighting each other. How NJ and Kim Oprah fight started, guys, we do not even know. They said that Angel was talking to Venita and that was how Kim Oprah told Angel to calm down. Oh, it's okay, rather. It is okay, rather. And Angel was just like, was I talking to you? Was I talking to you? Or more, it's now turned into a shouting spray. Angel was seriously shouting at Kim Oprah to the extent that she was just charging at Kim Oprah to go and beat her up. If not that, Ilebaye just stood on the way and told Angel to please calm down, not to do any crack crack, not to do any fight, not to do any bass boost. But if you actually ask me for my humble opinion, I will tell you guys that Alice really did too much. Like, she would not say she didn't see what happened. She wouldn't say that she did not see that Ilebaye did not touch that chair because she was seated at the front. So, she was witnessing everything that was happening. In fact, while they were arguing the thing, Adekunle truly did not say anything. How she started screaming and calling Adekunle liar, Omar would not even see where that really came from because we are shocked and 